Hey everyone, welcome back to effect for you channel. Today, we are going to create Valentine Day special slideshow, like this. So let's get started. First create a new comp, I call this main comp. Then create a new solid layer. This is our BG layer. Select layer and search gradient ramp effect. Change color according to you. Now create a new composition. 2000 by 2000 pixels. I call this placeholder 1. Drag your image into the timeline. Now add a keyframe on scale. Then go to 6 seconds forward and change scale amount 80%. Cool. Now again create a new comp 1920 by 1080 pixels. I call this BG comp. Drag placeholder 1 comp into the timeline. Now go to main comp, and drag BG comp into the timeline. Change layer mode multiply and change opacity around 40%. Now drag BG particle effect into the timeline, and change layer mode screen. And apply tint effect. Change opacity 80%. Now create a new comp 2000 by 2000 pixels. I call this heart shape. Drag heart shape image into the timeline. Then create one more composition. I call this media one. Drag heart shape comp into the timeline. Then drag placeholder one comp. Then again drag heart shape comp into the timeline. Select placeholder layer and change track mat alpha mat. Here you can see. Now select bottom heart shape layer and little bit increase the size. Perfect. Select layer and search fast blur effect. Iterations 1. And blur radius 50. Now search fill effect and change fill color and change opacity 60% now go to main comp and drag me do one comp into the timeline resize 60% then search curves effect and adjust your curves Then search sharpen effect. Sharpen amount 40. Then search noise effect. Uncheck use color noise, and noise amount 10%. Now select bend tool and create a zigzag mask around our media 1 comp. Open mask path, and add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and move mask right side of the comp. Now go to few frame forward and adjust your mask. Now again go to few frame forward and adjust mask.
increase mask feather around 250. Adjust all keyframes according to you. Perfect. Now duplicate the BG particle footage, and move above the media 1 layer. Select Bend tool and create a mask around media 1. Also increase mask feather. Cool. Now drag cloud image into the timeline. Resize according to you. Then drag another cloud image into the timeline, and resize it. Now create a new comp. 1100 by 950 pixels. I call this Rose. Drag Rose image into the timeline. Go to main comp, and drag Rose comp into the timeline. Resize around 70%. And add a keyframe. Then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now add time expression on rotation. Now duplicate the layer, go to second keyframe, and decrease the size little bit. Also change the time expression time into minus 20. Cool. Now create a new comp. 300 by 300 pixels. I call this heart. Drag heart image into the timeline. Now go to main comp, and drag heart comp into the timeline, and adjust them. Apply drop shadow effect. Distance 40. Softness 45, and opacity 20%. Now move the anchor point bottom side of the heart. Go to 1 second forward and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to first frame and scale amount 0%. Here I have bounds script. So copy the script and paste it here. You can adjust the keyframes according to you. Also apply wiggle expression on rotation. Now duplicate the layer and adjust bottom side of the comp. Again duplicate the layer, move top right side of the comp. And increase the size. Now apply fast blur effect. Change iterations 1. Blur radius 8. 
Again duplicate the layer and move bottom side of the comp. Now create a new comp. 600 by 600 pixels. I call this rotating heart. Drag heart image into the timeline. Resize according to the comp. And turn on 3D icon. Go to 2 view option, then duplicate the layer and change Y rotation around 50 degree. Then again duplicate the layer, and change Y rotation, 125 degree. Select middle heart layer, and apply fill effect. And change fill color. Now create a null layer. Parent all layers with null layer. Also convert null layer into 3D layer. Now apply time expression on Y rotation. Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag rotating heart into the timeline. Resize according to you. And adjust in your comp. Similarly duplicate the layer 3 to 4 time, and adjust them. Select first rotating heart layer, and move anchor point bottom side of the layer. Then add a keyframe on scale. Then go to first frame and change scale amount 0%. Here I have bound script. So copy the script. And paste it here. Perfect. Now select scale, and copy, and paste it on all three layers. Now we need to adjust the scale. So select the layer, go to second keyframe, and adjust scale amount. Similarly do with other layers also. Now go to project window and duplicate the rotating heart comp, rename this as hot balloon. Now go to timeline and duplicate the rotating heart layer, then hold alt key and drag hot balloon comp into the timeline. Now open hot balloon comp. Select all three layers. Hold Alt key and go to project window, and drag hot balloon image into the timeline. Here you can see. Now select null layer and increase the scale. Now go to main comp. Then go to second keyframe and increase the size. Duplicate the layer one more time and adjust them. Perfect.
Now create a new comp 1920 by 1080 pixels. This is our text 1 comp. Select text tool and type your text. Now open text layer, go to animate, and add scale, opacity and blur. Also enable per character 3D. Scale around 250%. Opacity 0% Blur 120 Now open range selector Then advanced Change shape ramp down Randomize order on Easy low 100% Units index Now go to range selector And change end amount 30 and offset 20. Add a keyframe on offset, then go to 2 to 3 seconds forward and change offset amount minus 80. Here you can see. Cool. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. You can adjust the keyframe according to you. Now duplicate the layer and change your text. Now go to main comp and drag text one comp into the timeline. Resize according to the comp. and apply drop shadow effect. Perfect. Now drag light leak footage into the timeline. Change layer mode screen. Then drag particle footage into the timeline. Change layer mode screen. Now create an adjustment layer. Then search curves effect. And adjust your curves. Now search noise effect. Uncheck use color noise, and increase noise amount 5%. Now drag transition footage into the timeline. Change layer mode screen. And adjust the footage. Perfect. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. So please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial, I'll see you in the next video.